it's me. <laughs> so, by the title of this video, today I'm gonna be walking you guys through my writing routine for my poetry book. I am like 110% a creature of habit, especially when it comes to this. I will pretty much do what we're about to go through um, every day that I'm off of work or days when I don't have to go into work until like later on in the afternoon or evening, sometimes even um, after work. Though I find that with this particular project, my inspiration and creativity definitely come more to me in the mornings. So it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. Regardless, um, these little habits are what I have found to be very successful in getting good chunks of writing out. So without further ado, let's get started.
is it. Ooh. That's uh, my current writing routine for my poetry book. So there are a few things that I consider when I decide like if I have had like a good writing day or not. Um, I don't so much go by like the poem count or I mean word count obviously because <laughs> poems are an underwriter's dream. Sorry, I'm trying to take my sandals off. I almost, <laughs> my heart is like pounding. I almost hit a deer on the way home. Oh my God, like I saw that deer's life flash before my eyes. like full-on busy road right before this intersection and this deer mind you it's like what time is it hello 12 15 in the afternoon and this deer comes charging out of the woods across this i mean it's a two-lane road um in the middle of traffic and this thing was huge it wasn't a buck i think it was like a doe because she didn't have antlers but i had never seen like a doe this big and she charged right in front of me. I slammed on my brakes and I kid you not, I must've been like this close away from like smacking her. She would have destroyed my car. <laughs> anyway, so good writing day for me is when I can get like my point across, I guess. Um, every day while I'm flipping through like what I had done the days before, where I left off, you know, I get an idea in my head. It's like, okay, I want to accomplish this amount of the story today. For example, today I ended up writing about, I think, two poems. I cut like a chunk of one of them. So yeah, I guess two poems that introduced where Valentine lives. Um, if you don't know, Valentine is sort of my antagonist of the story. Ophelia is my protagonist. And today he showed her where he lives for the first time. So my goal when I first sat down and decided, okay, this is where today's gonna take me. I wanted to specifically First of all, like write out the poems, you know, get what I need to say out. Second of all, I wanted to be able to convey the tone and the feeling with which I wanted to portray. So the themes, the metaphors, you know, I really strive to get my point across to the reader without being like stupid obvious, like, hey, she thinks this is weird, you know? And third, I wanted to get a good layout. This book is going to be a mixture of sketches and it, you know, it's telling a story with words, but also with moving, I was gonna say moving pictures, but like the form is gonna flow differently in different spots. The poems are gonna be, you know, visually different with the content that is gonna be like in the poem. It's gonna be very visual as well as, you know, like stimulating. So that's another thing that I like taking into consideration when I'm writing the poems. For now, because this is, I guess, technically my rough draft, I will write down ideas for spreads if it comes to me. I'm not so much focusing on how specifically the poems are gonna look until I get on my computer and actually, you know, format it how I want. But for now, as I'm writing things, you know, little sparks of inspiration come to me, so I'll jot it down real quick. As you saw, I made, you know, a little mock-up layout for how I think I want these poems to look when they're in the final book. And so by these standards, I think today was pretty successful. Um, I got a good, you know, chunk of the next sort of chapter in my story set up and ready to go. Getting into the real meat of it and the primary obstacle that Ophelia is gonna be facing. So I'm very happy with what I've done today. With that, I guess that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. And a special thanks to Hannah, Louise, and T for suggesting that I make this video. I honestly had never even thought of doing a little routine-y type thing for this current project. So thank you for that. I had a lot of fun. So all the stuff. I cannot get through a video without stumbling over words. I just can't. <laughs> All of the links to my stuff will be down below and I will see you guys later.